Gentlemen, welcome to St. Hyacinth in Quebec for the Canadian National Championships of Darts. And we have an all Ontario final the Beaver Tamers, Jake McMillan and Larry Turner. Jake McMillan is the Ontario champion, and Larry, here he is on his first time. Both of these gentlemen have been on stage at the Canadian Nationals uh, looking to pick up their first national titles. Both gentlemen played great today all the way through their sections and through the floor play. Uh, we are expecting a great match from these two gentlemen. My name is Clint Clarkson. I will be commentating here today with Zandra Charbonneau, and we are looking forward to this match. Hey, everybody. Nice to see you here. I was at uh, Jake's earlier match against uh, Ross Nook, which was just before this. Another uh, two Ontario players. Jake is playing out of his mind right now. with a 180. Larry putting on the pressure right away and asking for the fans to give him a bit of a yell. Jake liking it, but unable to catch the triple 20 himself, but does clean it up with a 97 to keep Jake, to keep Larry close in this match. Larry into that triple 20 once again and picks up a 140. Great opening from Larry. Came back with another 1040. Jake trying to make sure he doesn't lose Larry in this first leg. And Larry failing to catch a triple there, but he's got a, a pretty good lead. Jake's going to need a couple triples on this trip. Unable to and waywardly dart into the one. That didn't help. 40 in this at this level. If Larry can capitalize on that and get some triples in. It's really going to take a comfortable lead. Larry forcing himself on that uh, triple 18, not needing to. Uh, possibly uh, a decision he's going to regret later if Jake's able to pound in a big score here. First starts into the five and a single. Not going to be able to set himself up for the big one, uh, but it gets himself down to 180. So that means Larry's going to have at least six starts at this 84. First starts into the single 20 going down to the 16s. Oh, ops to the 14. And goes for the bull and puts it and through. And takes it out on the bull. He didn't even need to do that with uh, Jake on 180, but uh, he's feeling confident. He looks confident. Like he's put that dart in his hand. It's part of him. Larry asserting himself. Jake coming back with that 140 to open his leg. It's got to feel good for him to come out strong. Larry looking to respond, but that one drifts over into the five. And the triple 19, or triple 20 to leave himself, to give himself 95. Jake not willing to let him come back in, and there is another 180. 180s in both of the first two legs. Larry was feeling good, but he's lost his line just a little. Can he catch that triple 20? He can't. A 36. That gives Jake lots of time. He's going to be setting himself up on the finish here where Larry isn't even in with, within striking distance of a finish. And a 123 to put himself on a single to double combo where Larry sits back on 370. What a leg for Jake McMillan.
Larry looking for a shovel to dig himself out of this hole, but only able to catch a 58. Jake going for the 18, misses, 17 to tops. Just high on that last dart, but he's got lots of time with Larry at 312 to come back and take out that 40. Larry's Larry struggling. And just needing to find his throw before he goes into the next leg. This one's on Jake's throw, so it's not devastating for him to lose this. And there. Jake picks it up. Let's get it on like Donkey Kong. A great start for these two gentlemen in the men's final. Larry's average dropping from in the hundreds down into 83, while Jake has picked his up into the 90s. Larry's still struggling to find that triple once again. Jake looking confident. Oh, still only a 60. So we're waiting for the boys to find their triple in this match. Larry's now in there. That's a masterful shot. 140 to pull himself ahead. Jake needing to respond. Came back with 100, so he's still keeping himself well. Within striking distance there. Putting a little bit of pressure on Larry. Larry looking for the 133, but has caught himself a three. Unable to pick up a triple there. Big opportunity here now for Jake, if he can put two into the triple. He's got one. And not able to catch the second, so these guys are going to be sitting essentially tied. Here comes Larry into that triple. Not going to be a 180, but is it a 140? No, it's just a ton, but he will be the first to get to a finish. McMillan needing to catch himself a triple in order to have an opportunity at the finish. And unable to do so. So Larry's got himself at least six starts at this 160. That last start over into the triple five didn't help much, but he still is in a finishing position. The way these gentlemen are playing that 105 finish has a good opportunity to drop. But Jake McMillan with the 97 puts himself on 104. Both gentlemen looking at the three dart out. Larry with the 60, 45 remaining. Does he go fives or 13s? Looks like he's going 13s. Oh, and a low dart. The single seven to leave himself on 32, but that gives leaves the door just a little bit open for Jake McMillan on the 104. Again, operating for the 18s to set up 32 again. And he's got the first part of the puzzle can he finish it off? And he and does he so. Does. The what big 104 finish to break throw after Larry missing a single 13. That has got to hurt. Now Jake on his throw with an opportunity to really take control of this match. And he didn't take a second. He lined right up to that Aki again to start throwing. Like he's ready to play this match. Coming in with two triple 19s right away. Scoring 134. Putting real pressure on Larry. You can see just a little bit of strain in Larry's throw, but he is able to pick up the 93. Jake McMillan's got to feel like he's in control of this match. Ah, 97 picks up the triple 19 with that last dart. It looked like there might have been an opportunity for Larry, uh, but he is pulled well ahead now. Ninety-five. He still picked off that last triple 20. But Jake's not letting up. He's not letting up. Jake can smell the blood in the water, and he's coming in with all of his teeth showing. Can Larry do something to dig himself back into this match? Another time to keep himself close, but ultimately Jake is in control with the first shot at the, at the, or at the finish. And a 96 puts him on to 74. Two singles to a double. Doesn't need to score a triple from here. Larry looking to set himself up. Great first start. Can he fill it up from there? Unable. Doing a little bit of thinking, deciding where he's going to go. Looks like he's opting to stay with the 20s. And picks the ton. Not a ton of pressure on McMillan, but certainly he's got to feel like this has got to drop. 42 to 32. First start goes wide. Good marker, though. 
Oh, and he takes it inside the 16. So he's going to come back for a double eight. Larry's been doing all the work to keep himself close in this leg. Can he check this 113? Great first dart, 54. Ah, doing a bit of a score check himself, sitting on 59. on that it looks like our score it looks like our scoreboard wasn't correct there we were showing 113 Larry yeah. took out 118 so let's assume that that was correct yes let's for 108 rather <laughs> yeah we were a little lost on that one I didn't know where he was going anymore and, but the crowd 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 told us that yeah, he'd taken that leg. either either way a massive finish from Larry to tie up this match when it looked like Jake McMillan might have an opportunity to run away with it and now Larry in control of this fifth leg already he's picked one triple unable to respond to, to Jake only putting up the 59 McMillan now with another opportunity to drag himself back into this leg 40. One of the darts fell out of there. Just two single 20s coming in on that. So Larry is still ahead here. Triple 20 helps. Another triple 20. Fill it up. And a good switch. Good decision for Larry having those two high darts. Unable to pick the triple 19, uh, but does set himself up on 220. Well ahead of Jake now in this lag. Jake again unable to pick up a triple. That's three tripleist visits to the board for him. And Larry is looking like he could run away with this leg. And with the ton, that puts him on a 120 Shanghai finish. McMillan needing a 180 to get to a finish. That first start means he won't get there. And Larry's going to have at least six starts, maybe more, to take out this 120 and take the advantage in the match. Needs the triple to get to a finish. And, and he he's got it. it. Double 20. Oh, and he's just high on that last dart, but he's got lots of time to come back with Jake on 303. And he's going to have at least six darts to take out this 40. How many is he going to take? One. Two is all he's going to need. Drop it like it's hot. Larry Turner with the 3-2 advantage. Jake McMillan needing to recompose. He is on his throw. He hasn't been broken as of yet. So this is a great, this is an opportunity for Jake to come back, but he's got to find that triple. He's in with one. Solid ton to open up. Can Larry put pressure on him? Wow, those were some wayward darts over into the triple five, two of them and into the one. So uh, didn't get a chance to really put any pressure on Jake. Jake hasn't come back. I only hit the triple 18 on that last dart. So he did get a 93 scored there. Larry really needing a triple now to get himself going or Jake's going to have a big opportunity to stretch this leg out and tie the match back up. Jake going to the 18 to set himself up for the finish. Another triple 20. Oh, just caught the flight a little bit sliding in from the left and it lands in the five. But a big advantage now. Larry needing a 180 to, to get back within range of Jake. He's, He's got, got two. two in. Can he put the third to bed? Wow. Oh, just the high. 140 though is a great score with him starting to fall behind in this leg. Can Jake open that lead back up? Only singles. Needs the 18 and doesn't get it. Now Larry with a chance to get to the finish first. If he's able to put together a ton or better, single five isn't going to help. He does have the triple one more and he'll be the first to the finish. And 125. What a great shot from Larry to try and get himself ahead. But Jake's coming back firing. 127. He's going to have a single to double finish if Larry isn't able to take out this 145. He does have this triple 20. He's got the triple 15, double 20 for the massive oh, out. Oh, just underneath the wire. Jake's got to be feeling that. Can he compose himself to take this out? Singles missed. Sitting on 45. Goes to the 13. 13. 32 for Jake McMillan. Taking time. Oh, and that Just could outside. be devastating. This could, is the opportunity Larry's been looking for to break throw and put himself within one leg of the national championship. 
Nervy darts. Nervy darts. Oh, and it's darts. outside. He lets oh, Jake oh, off gosh. the hook. Can Jake clean this up? Inside on that. Double eight. Crushing it like a grape between his toes. Jake McMillan composing himself to take out that 32. Now we're down to a best of three with Larry starting off. Jake McMillan's got to be feeling like he's got horseshoes in his underpants. And Larry, good last start to pick up the 97 and not allow Jake an opportunity to take control of this leg early. Can Jake catch that triple 19? And he does as well. So both of these gentlemen sitting on the low 400s. Larry with the 57. There's the opportunity that Jake was hoping for. And he starts with the first one in the triple 20, second one in the triple 20. Get out of that area. There you go. Opting for the 19 <laughs> with that dart just hanging on by a thread. Larry losing a bounce, recomposing. Good decision. Two singles aren't going to help him much, but there, the last dart fell into that triple. Great there last go. dart. Great last dart from Larry there. But Jake is back into that triple right away. Going downstairs to make sure he leaves himself on a finish. Larry's going to need a triple to get to a finish himself. Still has the opportunity. It looks like he's staying on the 20s. Oh, and he picks the triple 20. A single wouldn't have left him a finish. That is a great dart. Jake on the 167. Knows he has to, at the very least, pick up a triple here. And hope that Larry doesn't check this 122. That's an unfortunate second dart. And the 45 leaves him well behind. So here's a chance for Larry. He's just got to get himself... He can take out this 122, but he, he can get himself down to a one dart. Keep it clean. 36 scored. He's going to want to hit another triple here. Another tri a triple 18, rather. Only 54 scored, but... It looks like it may not matter if Jake is able to hit the bull here. Oh, oh a high dart. Not the dart he wanted. Now Larry on 68 with an opportunity to hold his throw. Eight sixteen pie. Catches the 16. 32 to go up 4-3 in this final. Oh, and it's to the outside, giving Jake McMillan the opportunity to break and throw he's for the national title. Oh, he's splitting it up. What did he? Ops to split rather than going right at the double 15, and yeah, it's a good decision. Great shot from Jake. Now holding throw. You've got to know that his confidence is high at this point. Oh, he broke Larry's throw. That was Larry's yeah. throw, so... Jake's coming in now. He can win this title with this last leg. Larry's, Larry's not giving up with the triple, triple. And Whoa. finishes it off with the ton 80. Third of this match. What a great shot from Larry under the pressure. Showing that he is every bit as capable as any player in Canada right now. And Jake only responding with the 62 triplest visits after Larry puts in the 180. Larry now with two singles. 60. Only a 60 himself. That gives Jake a little bit more time. He definitely wanted to catch a triple on that visit. Jake with one. Can he get another? And yeah. there it is. 140 for Jake. That really He really needed that to bring himself up. He did, up. didn't he, Sandra? He really did. Looks like two singles right now for Larry. He's really got to find a triple. Needs the Going triple for to the get, 19. Him, get oh, to a finish. Opts for the 17 to leave the 170, but ultimately catches the single. Jake now. Oh, into the triple. He's going to get himself to the finish first. An opportunity to win this Whoa. leg, and that is a monster shot. Monster shot. Leaving him with 102 now. He is in a finishing position with four. Larry with one. Larry still with one. And on a 104, so both of these gentlemen sitting on 
a reasonable finish. Jake, 82 remaining, misses the triple 14. That's going to give Larry an opportunity, another opportunity at a 104 finish. 46. And with that setup, although it wasn't the darts that Jake wanted, there's a lot of pressure on Larry now. Needs the triple 18 to leave 32. And he doesn't have it. That means Jake McMillan's going to come to the line on 56, a single to double combo with an opportunity to become the Canadian national champion. There's Sixteen. the single. Here he comes. He just needs that double top. Taking a, taking a pause. Stepping back. Coming in again. And, and there it is. It Jake out. McMillan is your 2023 Canadian National Men's Singles Champion. A riveting final. That's got to be bitter like a turn up for Larry. But ultimately, that is a monster finish. Jake took his opportunity when it presented itself to break Larry and then able to control the match from there. What a fantastic final for the two Ontario boys. Absolutely. A new one for Larry and uh, just another continuation on Jake McMillan's run right now. He's just on fire. He's been shooting out in Smith Falls and Ottawa area and just uh, uh, showing us what he has. And a true, true gentleman too. A absolutely fantastic guy. So congratulations to Jake McMillan. Congratulations to Larry Turner as well to both the women in their finals. Congratulations on a wonderful Canadian National Championships. We will be back tomorrow with one more major event. We have the Mixed Doubles Final. That's the one that we all wait for because ultimately the Canada Cup is usually determined in the Mixed Doubles. And right now there are a number of teams still in that race. Remember to watch that. You can find it on youtube.com forward slash at Maximum Darts Live. YouTube.com forward slash at Maximum Darts Live. And we would like to thank the National Darts Federation of Canada for allowing us to stream this event for you. And we want to thank Maximum Darts for their streaming. All of the technology that has brought this to you has been brought to you by them. Thanks very much. Any last words, Andrew? Uh, no, but it's been great working beside you, and I hope we get to do it again tomorrow. So uh... Uh, I hope we don't, because I'd rather play in the final. But if we do, <laughs> I'm happy to be here with you, All right. as always. Thank you. Thanks very much, everyone, and we will hear, you'll hear from us again tomorrow. Thank mm -hmm. you.